The Continuous Catherine Martinhoe by D.G. Compton, 1974. Or The Unsleeping Eye by D.G. Compton, 1974. This is the Daw edition. And there is one inside illustration as well. Let's start off with some background information from the Encyclopedia of Science Fiction by John Clute and Peter Nichols. Compton's novels are almost always set in the near future, and each presents a moral dilemma. The future is used as a device for bringing contemporary trends into a clearer focus. Most of the interest lies in personal relationships and the behavior of people under stress, Minor characters are observed with humor, which frequently arises from class differences. Endings are ambiguous, or deliberately inconclusive. Later novels have varying modes of narrative technique. Compton's rare public utterances confirm the impression that he is not interested in the staple concerns of genre SF. Compton's strengths as a writer are all displayed in the much-admired The Continuous Catherine Mortenhoe, 1974, a woman in her 40s is given four weeks to live. A reporter with eyes replaced by TV cameras has the job of watching her decline for the entertainment of a pain-starved public in a world where illness is almost unknown. The reporter sees one of the transmissions and realizes that the camera cannot tell the truth. The recorded film is without mind and therefore without compassion. On page 27, the reporter describes the outcome of the surgery. Then again, it felt outrageous. I was a surgical monstrosity, a cyborg. I had been violated. I had offered myself willingly for obscene experimentation. I had given up myself, given up a right even to the ultimate privacy of my senses. I was a public man. What I saw... Every voyeuristic hack by the receiving monitor would see. My tapes could be played back for the cheap delectation of office boys. My finest moments were common property, and those less fine. And if I closed my eyes or stayed in complete darkness for any length of time, the implanted retinal microcircuits would overload, and pain would force my consciousness into light again. That then was the price, and that the satisfaction. I was public property, and utterly alone. For who could trust me with secrets, either of body or mind? And I had within my head the possibility of greatness. So I think that most people come at this novel like it's a big brother watching you type theme. It's much more than that. It's an examination of our lives. What gives us meaning? Why do we continue to live? Shocker, we're all going to die. Catherine just knows that it may be sooner. And what is our fascination with people who know they're going to die? But the other theme, the theme that I found more poignant, was the theme of how we see people. How our vision is impaired, if you like, by feelings, emotions. Our memory of that vision of a person that we love is very different than the cold camera eye vision. Our cyborg reporter realizes this when his memory of seeing Catherine Morton Ho doesn't match what the video is of seeing Catherine Morton Ho. So it's a novel about our mortality and about how we perceive those around us, how we perceive those we love. And ultimately, it's a look at tragic mistakes and their consequences. This novel isn't a page-turner. It's more a meditation or reflection on these themes. The concept itself sounds very familiar. We might think of The Truman Show as a movie, or some of the reality shows that they show nowadays. But our voyeurism is void of that emotion, that soul that goes into the seeing that we do. I give The Continuous Catherine Mortenhoe 8 out of 10. That completes all the books that I have by D.G. Compton at this time. You can see all of my reviews in the playlist called Author colon Compton comma 
D period G period. Now, I don't know with the passage of time whether the continuous Catherine Morton Ho will stick with me, but I do know that there's three other novels that I've read that I think about. Syntha Joy, The Silent Multitude, and Farewell Earth's Bliss. If you're wondering which novel to start with, leave a comment below. I'll see if I can connect you with one that works for you. Until next time, keep reading.